Well, hey friends, Roger here. Uh, welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So today I thought that I would do a Friday Reads. You know, I've been meaning to start doing Friday Reads for a while now, but it just always slips my mind. But I thought it'd be a good way to kind of catch up on uh, what's going on with me and what I'm reading at the moment. I actually just finished a book entitled Boyfriend Material, written by Alexis Hall. And uh, it features one of my favorite tropes, the uh, fake dating trope. And the story follows a guy named Luke, who is the son of a very famous uh, rock star. I think it's, well, his father was a rock star in the 70s and 80s. And his, and his father is now making a comeback. So which means that Luke is in the news, uh, followed by the paparazzi, and some not so flattering <laughs> images were taken of him. It's also worth mentioning that Luke is estranged from his father. His father walked out on them when Luke was three years old, so Luke has not seen him in, uh, well, since he was three. So because of the unwanted uh, publicity that Luke has garnered, his boss at work where he works, which is a volunteer organization, told him in not so many words that, that he should find himself a, a decent gay boyfriend to uh, kind of counteract all the negative publicity that he has garnered. So he ends up entering into a fake relationship with a guy named Oliver. Now Oliver and Luke do have kind of a history. Luke tried to hook up with Oliver a while back and Oliver pretty much gave him an abrupt brush off. So Oliver has an important event coming up with his parents and he needs an escort for that event. Somebody who he can convince his parents is his real boyfriend. So the two enter into an agreement to uh, be each other's fake boyfriend for the next several months and all sorts of interesting hijinks ensue. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book. It was a lot of fun. And I'll uh, go into it in more detail on my wrap up. And I'll probably do a full on book review of this as well. Oh, and also it's not out yet. It's uh, out to do out in the beginning of July, I believe. This is actually an arc that I received, but it is available for pre-order if you are so inclined. So the next book I'm going to be reading is also an arc, and that's entitled The Extraordinaries by T.J. Clune. And I'm really, really looking forward to this one as I've read quite a few books by this author that I've loved, the most recent being uh, The House on the Cerulean Sea, or is it The House by the Cerulean Sea? One of those two. But uh, yeah, an excellent read. So if I can't remember the exact title, I'll put up a, a cover up above. I think it's The House by the Cerulean Sea. So I, so I had really, really good intentions. I was going to start it last night. However, I got distracted when I received an email from Hulu saying that a new series is available entitled Dear Victor, which is a spin-off of the from the Dear Simon movie, which was based on the book by Becky Abertelli entitled Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. So I was really excited, so I uh, so I decided not to read it and instead fired up Hulu and watched the first five episodes of Love, Victor. And the story takes place in Creekwood at the Creekwood High School, and Victor is a new kid at the high school. And he's going through, he's trying to decide whether or not he's gay. He's attracted to a specific student at school, and also he then finds himself attracted to a girl as well. So he's kind of learning that one isn't necessarily gay or straight, but sexual attraction can be fluid. So it's kind of nice that each episode is only a half an hour so you can get through them uh, rather quickly. So I watched the first five, and there's going to be ten of them total, or there is ten of them total. So I just need to watch the uh, last five of the season. And then I'll probably have a long wait until season two comes out. So yeah, so that's it for my Friday reads. Um, next book up in my list is The Extraordinaries, because that's an arc and it's going to be published, I think like around July 14th or so, so I have a couple of weeks to get that finished. But if you enjoyed Love, Simon, or enjoyed the book, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, then maybe you want to give uh, Love, Victor a try if you are a Hulu subscriber. So that's about it. I will talk to you all in the next video. Roger and out. Ooh.